Hey, everybody. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Harper, for what a lineup tonight. And this band is just killing it. They're just so lovely. So you're, like, you're probably saying, who, who's Logan Sparks? I'm Kay. Um, I'm Harry's right-hand man. I've been his right hand for 15 years. Uh, before we get started, I want to say thank you to Vidiots. They put this big show on. And they are amazing. It's an amazing foundation. My first experience. Yeah, right? Give it up. Thank you. Vidiots is amazing. Thank you, Maggie McKay, Sophie Huber, uh, Layla Nabilsi. It's amazing. So they put this together. Real quick, my first experience with Vidiots. I was, uh, it was mid-90s. I was a film student at USC. They closed at 10, fight on. There was a, they clo Vidiots closed at 10 p.m. I was in front of the place at 10.15, banging on the window, hoping to get somebody to show up. And this squirrely little dude came out from behind the shadows and came up to the mail hole and went, what do you need? <laughs> and I said, I need to see a racer head by 9.30 a.m. <laughs> it's a true story. And he looked me up and down and went, figures. <laughs> and I saw a racer head. That said, thank you, Vidiots. Do them a favor, donate to their Go Go Indiegogo campaign. Do yourself a favor, go to their store and experience what they're about. All right, so that's that. Blah, blah, check that off the list. Important to LA. Okay, here's where we go. I met Harry Dean about 15 years ago. I was a, uh, an out-of-work actor, an out-of-work production assistant, and a production coordinator called me and said, Logan, we need you to drive Harry Dean for one day. We heard he's a little rough around the edges and he chain smokes. And I put my cigarette down and went, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh. So the next day I'm picking him up. Pick him up and I was a little surprised because for some reason I thought they had said Dean Stockwell. So we get in the car and the whole time I'm driving I was like, this guy was not in Quantum Leap. <laughs> All right. So we go to our production day. We shoot for 12 hours. It's like midnight, 1 o'clock. He sticks his head out of the trailer and says, Logan, what are you doing? And I said, I'm standing by, sir. He goes, for one, call me Harry and come up and hang out with me in the trailer. So I went up and we smoked some cigarettes and he pulled his guitar out and he played Everybody Talking At Me. Yeah, right? Me and Harry D in the middle of nowhere in a trailer. And we just sat there in silence afterwards, and it, it wasn't an uncomfortable silence. Um, on the contrary, it was a very comfortable silence. Like, like you were home, you know? Felt that way, that it was okay to be silent. And it continued till our drive home, and he looked over at me out of the silence and finally said, Logan, are you married? I said, no, are you? He said, no, I asked two women, and thank God they both said no. He said, are you gay? And I said, no, are you? He said, no, not that, there, not that there's anything wrong with that. Said, right? He said, you got kids? I said, no, do you? He said, none that I know of. And then he said, Logan, you smoke grass? And I said, you know, time to time. He said, all right, come up to the house, we'll smoke a joint and go to a party. It was 1 a.m. He goes, after that, we're gonna make it down to Tana's. I think Christian's running the door. So, yeah, give it. that said, I've been with Harry for 15 years, and we've traveled around the world together, and we've experienced amazing things together, and he's taught me a lot. And, uh, and uh, I gotta tell you, um, he affected me. And you're standing over there, but I gotta tell you, Harry, you affected me. You know, and I don't know if you know what that means, but sometimes somebody affects you and it changes your whole life. And there are some things bigger than us, ladies and gentlemen, in this universe, and Harry Dean Stanton is one of them. So I'm preaching to the choir and I sound worked up, but that's true because after 15 years, my wife and I had the honor of naming our son Stanton Sparks. We, we figured if we named him Harry Sparks, his first name would then be an adjective, so it's a whole different story. But that said, I also had the amazing honor of writing a movie and producing it, and we shot it last summer, and it's everything I ever learned from Harry Dean. It's a, it, it's a, uh, 
it, it's an, an atheist journey to enlightenment. And uh, it stars Tom Skerritt with Harry Dean, first time they've been on screen together since Alien. It also stars Ron Livingston, Ed Begley Jr., Beth Grant, and a longtime friend of Harry's, and ironically, director of Eraserhead. The man I'd like to introduce now, Mr. David Lynch.